Good morning, North American traders. I know you're all coming in early today for the fireworks that we are about to see at the Bank of England. Just taking a look at this cable chart here. This point of interest has held today, 138.38. For all of you number files, 138.38, it's a tidy little number. Through this, we should see a bit of a flush. In order for this to happen, we want voting 9-0. We want inflation neutral. Uh, and we're waiting for Carney to just be dour. Be dour, Carney, careful, Carney chili con carne. Um, if it's comment driven it'll probably be a bit choppy and so we'll have to be careful on this but the left hand side looks tidy on the charts if we get a bearish result. If it's bullish it's a little bit more difficult There's going to be stops above 140, but that's it's far away. But if we do start teetering towards 140, I do not think it's a fade. Uh, so you just got to be open-minded and maybe look for another print up there. We've already got two prints, 139.97, 139.99, 113.14, 113 points away right now. So you got to be careful with that. But our favorite side is the left-hand side. Equities done nothing. Very, very quiet. We're going to try and sell high ones today. And through the lows is probably actually, we may actually chase that a little bit. Because we do think uh, equity downside is, is at risk. Although I was just talking to uh, a colleague of mine, for the big equity downside move, doesn't that sort of dovetail into more of a Friday type move than a Thursday move? We'll have to see. Three and a half hours before NYSE opens, so we get some time to think about that. We're looking at this dollar rand, as we said. Just kind of inching up there, out of nowhere. Not really sure what's going on, but that's a second print at 12, 14, 50. Should be taking out stops at 12, 17, 50 if we get through that again. Keep that in mind. But again, we're looking for the powerful move, risk off move for Friday. Euro yen has our attention. If you just look at these dailies, we feel this market is still caught long. The real puke is going to be 133.06. But through 133.85 today, we think this thing can get some legs. So keep an eye on this level. Yesterday's low, 133.85. Actually, 133.82. 87 has been the low today. So we have a bit of a platform there for a break trade. Elsewhere, not a whole lot to report. Dollar CAD broke that 90 level. But because Toronto wasn't in, we didn't really bother, uh, bother with it. We printed a 97 high. I guess 98 printed uh, through the figure if oil starts getting smacked and if we get risk off if Aussie and Kiwi continue going down dollar cat is lagged with the Aussie and Kiwi move so this could be a possible money making opportunity there one last thing sterling yen notoriously difficult to trade and also a hundred points away but this looks interesting to us. 151.20. You can 
do a couple of things here. You could draw this line here. It's kind of tidy. Kind of defines the sterling yen grind higher since December. This looks like it's ready for another another leg down. But of course, it would be nice if dollar yen were participating in that as well as sterling, but something to keep in mind. The actual trend line comes in at 28. The important low is 20. Yesterday's low is 32. So these are all important levels to look at. Quickly on to the cryptos. Bitcoin's higher. 12% higher today. Sit tight with your longs. Trade out of them. Keep a core long. This is our strategy. Ethereum, same thing, another 12%. You could argue that through 855 in Ethereum, you might get a little bit of a leg higher. I'm not sure. It's not like there's going to be shorts here covering at 855, but just technically speaking, uh, close above there would be nice on the day. Elsewhere, Euro printed a 25 low, but hasn't really done too much. It's been pretty choppy. Dollar Swiss did break 50, went up to 70. Typical dick fashion. It's just sitting here, 55 choice. Uh, I don't know. Avoid Dollar Swiss. Pain in the ass. What else? Not too much else out there. Yields are creeping back up. 283.5 on the 10 year. I'm not sure what that means currency wise, but that does mean downside pressure for the stock market. So, certainly, if we make a new high on the yield today, which is basically 288, 290, uh, this will create added pressure on the downside in stocks. So keep an eye on that. But in general, <clears throat> we're an hour away from the BOE, getting our strategy set, keeping an eye on gilts, obviously, and we will be ready for action, as I hope you will be too. All right, good luck out there, guys. Talk to you tomorrow at the New York Open. I hand this uh, little privateer over to my U.S. colleagues. And I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.